Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how to install NVM. To install any package through Brew, you simply run Brew install and then the name of the package, in this case, NVM. Brew will install the specified package and then present you with additional steps to take if needed after installation. In this situation, we're going to be adding the directory NVM to our user directory and then adding a little bit to our bash file, allowing our command line to know where to look for NVM. So to proceed, let's go ahead and make our directory at tilde slash dot nvm. A lot of these commands will be followed by a file path. One thing to take note of is that tilde is a shortcut to the currently logged in user's home directory. So anywhere you see a tilde, it's just like saying my home directory. So in this situation, we're creating a dot nvm folder under the currently logged in user's home directory. This is being created in the user's home directory to avoid potential permission conflict errors in the future. The final piece of configuration is to add a snippet to my desired shell configuration file. In my situation, Brew has detected that I'm using omyzsh, and as such, it's recommending that I put this into my zshrc file. If you do not have omyzsh installed, it'll recommend you to input it into your .bash file. Using the command nano in the file path indicated by Brew, a terminal-based text editor will open up and allow me to insert these lines. I'm going to do so at the very bottom of the file. And following the commands at the bottom of the nano editor, I would like to exit and save. To do this, I press Control X, Y to save, and then I press Enter to save it as the exact same name as I opened up. Immediately trying to run an NVM command will result in a failure. This is because we've modified our shell and we need to reload it. The simplest way to reload your shell is to fully quit terminal and restart it. Now with terminal reloaded, we can run NVM commands like list. This will print out all currently installed versions of Node on my local system. Note that no versions are currently installed, as indicated by the NA. To see what available options we could install, we need to queue the remote server and list from there. This is done with nvm ls remote. Here's a good time to point out that Node.js started off as one open source project. It then split into two, both Node.js and IOJS, and it has since been merged back together. This brief split was due to a number of factors, but one of the major complaints of the developers working on the open source project was that major releases weren't being made often enough. Since the merge back in of IOJS, new versions of Node.js are released with great frequency. Don't be surprised by the time you're watching this video that versions 6, 7, or 8 have been released by only a few months after the publication of this video that I'm making. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to choose to install the latest version of Node, which as I see by this list is v5.5.0. Running the command nvm install and then the specified version number downloads and installs the specified version. The benefit of installing Node through nvm is that nvm allows you to install and toggle between multiple versions of Node. The ability to adapt your local environment to the application that you're working on increases the flexibility of your workflow, which simply allows you to work better and faster. I'm going to use NVM to make a default alias for version 5.5.0. This tells NVM to by default use 5.5.0 unless I specify it otherwise. Just to show you what it looks like, I'm going to install an older version of Node as well. I'll install version 4.2.6. Note that upon installing a new version, NVM switches to use that most recently installed version. You can double check this by typing which node and it will tell you the directory which includes the version number of the currently used version of node. To toggle between versions, run the command nvm use and then the version number. This will switch things over. Now let's set that back to 4.2.6 and open up a new window and see which version of node is being used by default on the brand new window. Version 5.5.0 is being used on the new window. So let's clear all of that away and make a simple hello world and just double check that node is in fact working. Rather than make a whole file in a text editor, I'm just going to use a simple terminal command to write some contents to a file. I'll write cat and then append the text I end up writing into this file path, tilde slash desktop slash node test file dot js. Putting a bit of JavaScript code in a simple console log allows me to test if node is even running. After I've written my code, I'll press return to drop one line lower and then press Control D to end the cat. This saves the file and you can see it appear on my desktop. To run the file, use the command node and then specify the path to the file that you want to run. Again, in this case, it is tilde slash desktop slash node test file dot js. So there you have it, node installed on your system through NVM. 